Welcome to April's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is longest increasing path in a matrix. Given an m times n integers matrix, return the length of the longest increasing path in the matrix. For each cell, you can either move in four directions, left, right, up, or down. You may not move diagonally or move outside the bounds. Now we want to return the longest length, not necessarily the path itself, just the length. And we kind of seen these kind of problems before. We know we're going to likely do some sort of recursive function. Here, likely the depth first search. And what we're going to have to do is check at every starting point in our cell. Uh, if we can move four directions, if we can, if the next cell is greater than the cell that we're previously coming from, then we could recursively call the depth first search and see how many um, I guess levels we can go down and then we'll just re plus one to whatever we return and return that at each cell now if we did that uh, we're likely gonna have to do some sort of memorization because luckily the way this works we don't have to worry about any cycles going on if we move from like six to nine we know that from night we can't go from nine to six backwards so we don't need to worry about that but since we're gonna start every single cell uh, if we know what the max increasing length is at this cell already we don't need to go down that path again because wherever we come from, if we already know what it is, then we can just add that um, instead of doing the whole recursive call. So uh, let's begin by initializing some variables. We need our M and N, which is going to be the length of the matrix and the length of the matrix zero. Now we want to write our depth for search and we're just going to call the um, row and column. And what we'll do Let's have a list of tuples for the directions. We'll have, uh, let's see here, for the left, right, up, and down. We'll have what? Let's say 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 1, 0. Ah. Negative 1, 0. Okay, so we start off by having some sort of answer. I'm just going to call this x. We know at every single cell, they'll have a length at least one, which is itself. And what we'll say is say for um, all the directions, let's say ij in directions, what we'll do is calculate a new row and new column. And this will just be r plus i, and this will be c plus j. Now, if this new row and column is in bounds, so the row is greater or equal to zero and less than m and the new column uh, I'm not typing very well today is less than n and the most important condition if this current cell is less than the new cell Now, if that's the case, then we are going to update our x by getting the max of either x itself or whatever we call in our depth first search with the new r and new c. But make sure to add a 1 here because we need to count the current cell itself as well. Uh, finally, once we move through all our directions, we can just return our x. And I believe that's it. So that, that would be our function, but we have to go through every single one of our cells. So for each row in M and for each column in range of N, let's call our depth for search. We'll have to have our output here. We can start with zero. We'll say output is equal to the max of output and depth for search RC. Finally return our output and this would be it. Now, I haven't set up any memoization here yet. Uh, I want to make sure that this looks good first. And it looks like that's working, that returns a four. Uh, but So let's set up um, a memoization. You can certainly use LRU cache, but I'm just gonna do it the old fashioned way uh, because it's pretty simple. We can just say, look, if RC is already in visited, then return visited RC. Otherwise, if it's not in here, then uh, what we'll do is add it at the very end. 
So visit it, RC should equal X. I believe that's it. So let's make sure this is working. Um, looks like that is. So let's go ahead and submit it. And there we go, accepted. Time complexity wise, it's M times N. We do use M times N space as well for this visit set, uh, but that's pretty unavoidable uh, if, you, if we want to uh, save a bunch of time in you know time complexity. So, all right, so I guess that's it. Thanks for watching my channel. Uh, remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.